Sports News now. The much celebrated Nigeria Cup, organized by Ikoyi Golf Community Nigeria Association, is set to tee off on Monday, September 27, 2021, with the theme Tapping Back to the Fairway. The annual event, which is organized by IGCNA, is to commemorate Nigeria's independence and always see golfers from all parts of the country and beyond slug it out at Ikoyi Club 1938. According to the organizers, the Nigeria Cup failed to hold in 2020 due to the COVID-19 pandemic, making it the first time it failed to hold since its inception, and they are hoping the event will be keenly contested this year. I mean, like we said, uh, it follows basically around the same format because we are going to have a week of entertainment, uh, starting from Monday all through to Saturday. And we, we have about uh, competitions in six different categories. And all the participants will have the benefit of going home with a lot of goodies, prizes, and very, very good trophies to go home with. And like I said earlier on, we have a prize of two million naira for holding one on 07. British boxer promoter Eddie Hearn has predicted that Anthony Joshua could face his toughest ever fight when he defends the WBA, IBF and WBO heavyweight titles against Alexander Uzik in London on Saturday. Joshua had height and reach advantages and will almost certainly be heavier at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium, but Hearn says he was nervous ahead of the bout. Despite the stiff test ordered by Uzik, Hearn has been impressed by Joshua's confident demeanor in the build-up to the fight, expected to draw a crowd of more than 60,000 people. Africa's most successful team at the FIFA Under-20 Women's World Cup Finals, the Falconets of Nigeria, will on Saturday commence another race to qualify for the global tournament when they play the Central African Republic in Douala, Cameroon. Africa's football governing body, CAF, has not approved that any stadia facility in Central African Republic has been good enough to host an international match. And this has forced the country's national teams to adopt other nations as home ground. Saturday's encounter is slated for the State Japoma de Douala from 3 p.m. Cameroonian time. 